going on ladies and gentlemen my name is stefan and or agent base whatever you want to call me and today i bring you a obs um background overlay kind of um how to set up a little uh yeah overlay i guess you want to call it you know people see you see people on youtube with their special little um you know comments little scroll speed checks and stuff like that or the webcam on a um live stream it's pretty simple to set up really easy to do and i'm just going to show you how i how uh how, how i do it really because i i um, what can I say? I don't have a webcam, but um, I do have an understanding how to do it. Uh, but I'll show you what I do for my own videos. Uh, I guess if I wanted a live stream and how I would want to set it up. So pretty much go here. Make sure you go OBS Broad, uh, Broadcast Studio. Go to the website. Go download it. And I'm pretty sure OBS Classic might be only on um, uh, fucking Windows. I believe. Uh, I'm not too entirely sure. But um, I prefer using OBS Classic. It's much easier to use and just really real basic compared to using um, what's up here, OBS Studio. Or you can get OBS Studio for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, but yeah, but um, if you do need to tutorial how to learn how to set up a live stream for OBS Studio, maybe just go look up in YouTube OBS Studio um, live stream settings, something like that. Um, but um, I do have a video for OBS Studio, um, OBS Classic, so maybe you could just copy the settings over. But it really depends on your upload speed. That's a problem. My upload speed is pretty average and really slow, like under mine's like 0.8 or 9 or 0.7 something lowers that some people go on youtube make youtube videos and they claim they have slow upload speeds but if your upper speed is above like two it's not slow um you don't understand the struggle of uploading under um, a one megabyte connection it's just dreadful like it is trash it is like so annoying taking ages to upload ages to do anything it's just a bitch to do anyways i'm gonna get straight into this video all right so i got obvious classic right here you do the same thing here as you see i got everything set up pretty much in the, my studio this is what i use to record my videos because it has multiple audio tracks so you can put everything on different audio tracks and adjust them individually on sony vegas so that's what i like to do that's why i like to use studio for my uh, recording for gameplays and stuff like that but um i haven't really used it for live streaming because my internet speed's pretty trash but i did have a goal at trying to understand how you can get the best settings for whatever upload speed you have but yeah usually you generally want to stick with 60 to 70 percent of your upload speed because if you use more it would usually uh, clog up your internet and you won't be able to uh, play online and yeah it's pretty shitty when you have really low upload speeds because your um, upload quality does kind of um, suck a little bit because it is hard to get a perfect um, uh, balance between the two but if you do need to know how to do it on OBS Classic have a look at my other video um, you'll find it um, it should be somewhere in my uh, video um, list and I'm just going to show you how I would uh, want to so um, pretty much do my overlay uh, fucking hell all right so you can just find an image anywhere um, it's really easy to do go on Google uh, I'll do it with you because it's just a piece of piss to do. Um, go Google right here. Pretend you're playing uh, your COD fan. Go cold wallpapers and just search it. Uh, go images. And then this is the fun part. Make sure you use like shitty images. Might have a low resolution. But none of them here do. Actually, I wouldn't use that. 1280 by 10, 0, 10, uh, 1024. I wouldn't bother using that. Um, so just go setting on uh, tools. Go size. And I usually do larger than 2 megapixels. Because I prefer a nice clear, clear image that looks alright. So see, this looks nice. Um, give it a second. Um, you know, for Australian internet at its best. Oh, wait. It's fuckers. I hate when that shit happens. Uh, but yeah, make sure it looks alright, like these 1080p photos always look nice. All you do is go, you know, quite click, uh, view the image, it'll down. Oh, this website again, fuck's sake. Don't worry about that then. Uh, find an image you want, download it, make sure you, when you click it, go f uh, view image. Make sure the whole image is onto your whole screen, then right click on it and then go, um, you know, save image as. But make sure you don't do it when it's a thumbnail like this, like the small version, because you won't get the proper quality of the image. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure because I used to do it and my images look to look trash, but I might be wrong because let's have a look. Uh, I think it does look bad. Yeah, see, only down this little thumb bit. You don't want that. You want to make sure you click on it and go view um, whole image and get the whole proper thing because if you don't, it's going to look really bad and shit. But after you find an image, all you do is back out, come here and go right click, add, um, go image, call it what you want. I call it called wallpaper and then um, 
you go browse, find where your images will be put on your desktop, click on it, click open, and just leave the settings as is. Click OK and then click the tick button. And make sure you click on preview stream because mine's so you click stop and it's nothing there. Click preview stream and it'll come up. And that's all you have to do. All right, pretty simple, eh? All right, so um, what else I would want to do is next is your monitor capture. So um, when you do play games, you do see it on the screen. And then yeah, pretty, so pretty much when you first do it, it will be like this. It'll be taken up the whole screen. All you do is click edit scene, um, scene, click a little arrow here, and you can make it smaller. You can move it around. Do what you want of it and put it down here. I don't know. It depends on you. But um, I'd probably want it. Uh, something like this. Uh, I'm not sure. Something like that, like that, maybe. And then I would want to add in this. This is really simple to do. So right click, add, go text, um, call it whatever you want. And I had to call it mine text too. And I picked up my font, bada boom, bb. <laughs> and then write your text. I said, welcome to the stream with an exc exclamation mark, space for space. So a nice gap like this. And another text another gap and then I'll put that in there to make a scroll real simple to do all you do is put pick a scroll speed 10 is really slow um, 30 is a nice sweet spot but 40 is a bit nicer it's a bit faster because you put it to like say you put it 80 it just goes even faster along the screen and it just depends on what you want to do um, if you want a really fast one or a really slow one up to you um, but yeah so next I want to put my text as uh, pretty much the same idea con same concept just so you're not making it do any scrolling so it just says zero that's it and you pick a font you want to do go on um, if you, you don't know what um, you don't have any good fonts just click um, go on Google real simple open a tab fonts I know I can search in the bar let's do go da font and um, you can also go on YouTube, um, look up um, YouTube thumbnail fonts, stuff like that. Do some research about it, but you can go find a font that you like somewhere in here. There's heaps, there's heaps to go through, whatever you want to find. Find a font, and you can use a custom one if you want. And I use this one, and um, yeah, just click OK, chuck it in, and then you click the tick, but tick button, and then click, you click Edit Scene, and you can move it around. I chuck mine up there, and then the image, all it is is the YouTube thumbnail. See, I'll stretch it out so you can see. And I'll put it like nice and small in the corner so it fits where I want it to fit. And yeah, you put it pretty much here. And I move my text right there so it looks nice in the corner. And I'll click unclick edit scene. It'll just look like this, something nice and simple. Um, but yeah, it's just a really simple thing to do. Nice, easy, good tutorial. And yeah, you can add more stuff into it like a webcam. But I don't have one. Um, you can add the Twitch chat in. Um, really, that's really easy to do. Uh, but yeah, this is a little build basic kind of um, tutorial on how to do a little over overlay. Nothing special, just something so you understand how it works. And also, if you really wanted, you can just click on edit scene and just stretch it out so it's even bigger. So your that part is actually over it. But it depends on you and what you want to do. Uh, but yeah, it just depends on which yeah your whole goal behind it and whatnot. Um, I'm just thinking of anything else I do need to cover, and that's about it. If you just a really simple way of doing it, if you don't feel like putting too much time and effort into it, just make something nice and simple for your own little live stream because you prefer to concentrate on the game itself and making good gameplay. Then fair enough. Um, but make sure in here, see, uh, there's all these settings. Um, so, so if you call hold control and you go to your up hour, up hours, you can move this up or to the top. And what that does, it pretty much means that your COD wallpaper is up top, it's the highest thing in your layer. And if you keep it like that, that will mean that um, that's all people will see. So you have to make sure that wallpaper is at the bottom, because that's your base. So, um, put your hand out, pretty much. If you put a hand on top of it, that's the new layer, pretty much. And your COD wallpaper is your bottom hand, and the top hand that's above it is your um, monitor capture. So think that as a uh, way of understanding layers. So pretty much you want your, I guess your wallpaper, your picture at the bottom, then monitor capture, and then pretty much your text, and your webcam can be all, all along there. Because if you put text, uh, if you put something above something else, it'll mean that it will be above it pretty much, if that makes sense. So this is the base, second, third, fourth, and this is right on top of everything. So this image can go on top of everything. See? It'll block out the text there. Yeah, that's the whole point of it, and you won't see it at all until it comes out the other side. It doesn't even go through the image because it's above it as a layer, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's pretty um, simple, easy to understand. Uh, but yeah, there's more in-depth videos on how to do a lot more, but at the moment, I don't need to do 
more in depth stuff because I'm not, I don't really live stream too much and I'm just waiting until I get better internet. So it's a little short little tutorial of uh, understanding the basic stuff and then you can go on from here, understand, go on um, YouTube or go on Google, search it up and do some your own research because that's an easy way to learn it and how to do um, live streaming in a better fashion than doing it from like a live application from the game or PlayStation Network. Like there is other me better methods like this that makes your video look nicer and more professional than just uploading to get straight gameplay and that's it. But yeah, um, that's about it for me really. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And yeah, catch you guys later. Uh, enjoy your day or your night or whatever the fuck you're doing. Peace.